chapter 12, lesson 1, is about rate. Okay, so here, when we say rate, it's technically the quantity measured over another quantity measured. So, quantity measured over another quantity measured. Okay, what does that mean? So, the first quantity could be, example, the length, the mass, the volume. Okay, and the second quantity could be time or it could be money. Okay, but it could also be the flip. So, which means the first quantity could be money or time. And then the second quantity could be volume or mass or length. So, it's usually, example, uh, dollar per R. Okay, or it could be liters per R. Okay, that's a rate. So, it's something over something. So, the fact that it's something over something, that means it's a fraction, which means the simplest approach would be similar to the last module, which is the similar fraction approach or the equivalent fraction approach. Okay, so to demonstrate, we will start with pages 86 to 87. So, on page 86, it says, this is number two, water flows from a tap at a rate of 50 liters per minute. Okay, then it says, at this rate, how many liters of water flows from the tap in four minutes? Okay, so again, the book has lead on questions. So the first, it says blank minutes, then arrow, blank liters. Okay, then blank minutes, and then blank, circle, blank. So that's the operation. And then this is equal to blank liters. Okay, so which means we know that this is one minute is equal to, one minute is equal to 50 liters. So again, huh, it says water flows from a tap at a rate of 50 liters per minute. So in one minute, there's 50 liters. Okay, then the question is how much, how, how many liters of water has flown in four minutes? So this is four minutes is equal to four times 50, which means this is 200 liters. Okay, so again, that's the box approach. My approach would have been one minute is equal to 50 liters. So, which means four minutes is what? Okay, so here I can do two things. I can go times 50, which means times 50. But I can go times four and times four. So, for me, it, it doesn't make a difference because it'll give me the same answer. So, this is, oops, sorry, this is times four. And this is times four. So if I multiply 50 times 4, that will give me 200 liters. So again, it could be this way times 50. This way times 50, it still gives me 200 liters. So this approach can be used for ratio. It could be used for rate. It could be used for percent because all of these are fractions. So anything that can be done using fractions, this is an ideal process to use. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate another problem just so you see better. It says on page 87, apples were sold at $6 per kilogram. So per, that means that's a rate. Okay, then it says at this rate, how many kilograms of apples did Rihanna buy with $42. Okay, so again, the book has blank dollars, arrow, kilograms. Okay, then blank, oops, $1. And then, okay, so it says 
it's six dollars for one kilogram which means one dollar will be one divided by six okay then this is equal to one sixth okay then after that it says that forty two dollars is forty two times one sixth so when i take one sixth of forty two that means that should be seven kilograms okay so again that's the box approach it's quite cumbersome so the easier version would be i know that it's six dollars is equal to one kilogram okay so we have forty two dollars how many kilograms can we buy with those so here i could say times one sixth but i can also say times seven so i'll do that times seven and that times seven so if i multiply this will be seven and that's the answer seven kilograms so parents and kids there's different approaches to every problem what we want to do is to use the approach that's stress free and stress free means equivalent fractions that concludes lesson one of chapter 12. See you in the next lesson.